Hello friends, this is Dr. Vinod and today we are going to study um, ECG and several waves and intervals found in an ECG. Now here as you can see an ECG I have drawn for you. This is, uh, you can see there are waves, P waves, QRS and T wave. Now, what these waves signify? The P wave, it signifies atrial depolarization. Then there is QRS, QRS, which signifies ventricular depolarization and then there is T wave which signifies ventricular repolarization now let's see what are the intervals found in the uh, ECG. First of all, we have a PR interval which is from the beginning of P wave till the beginning of Q wave and if Q is absent then the R wave. That's why PR interval or PQ interval. What does a PR interval signify? A PR interval signifies the time taken by the wave of uh, depolarization or the depolarization wave to reach ventricle. It is time taken for depolarization wave. to reach ventricle now what is the uh, duration of this wave the usual duration of this wave is uh, 0.12 to 0.20 seconds okay now let's see what uh, then there is a QRS complex from the beginning of Q wave till the end of S wave This wave also has a duration which is around 0 0.06 to 0 0.10 seconds. Okay. Now there is a QT interval. A QT interval is from the beginning of Q wave. till the end of T wave a QT interval is from the beginning of Q wave till the end of T wave it is uh, it usually changes with the heart rate and we can calculate it as 40% of RR interval This is a QT uh, inter interval 
which is usually 40% of RR interval and then we also have the main thing which usually used to cal calculate the heart rate which is an RR interval is from the peak of one R wave till the peak of second R wave or the next R wave 